Hello everyone, welcome back to another video at China Admissions. Today's video is again very important for new international students that are about to arrive in China. Today's topic is registering with the police after you've arrived. So this is often a very different uh, depending on which country you're from or if you have even studied internationally at other countries. Um, this it might be a bit of a different process, but it is mandatory for all foreigners to do. Not even just students, but any foreigner that is going to China has to register with the police once they have moved into their accommodation. Um, so you have 24 to 48 hours in order to do this um, and that is generally why we recommend that you first book a hotel that does accept foreigners um, so that you book a hotel for a little while while you're finding your accommodation or if you have um, arrived a couple of days before registration and a couple of days before you can move into your dorm room. Um, and this is just because uh, the hotel will be registering you um, and that's why you specifically have to find a hotel that accepts foreigners because they do have to be registered with the police in a certain way and have the training to do so. So just make sure about that. So that's what we recommend. And then if you are finding accommodation off campus um, and you've moved in and you've signed your contract, you're also going to need your Chinese, your land Lord's Chinese ID um, and to take that to the police and then fulfill any of the other document requirements that they might have. Um, this is dependent on where you are staying, which city you're in, which area of the city you are in, um, but it's not an extremely difficult process, especially because um, all foreigners have to go through this. Now, the documents that you have to take with you to the police station might vary depending on, again, the area you're going to live in, the city you're going to be in, etc. So some of the things might not be on this list or they might not require some of the things on this list. Um, they will definitely require your passport and your visa and your admission letter and then your housing contract and the accommodation confirmation. Um, if you're living off campus, then also the your landlord's Chinese ID. Just make sure as well to make copies of all of these documents because usually they will not be able to make them for you at the police station. So just go to a local printing place um, where they do copies and scans, etc. Uh, and just get two copies of each. Um, and also just keep in mind when you are doing this in general, it's good to have extra copies. These copying places are so easy to find. There's usually one on every street and they are very, very, very cheap to be able to print things out. You don't have to print them out in color. You can just have them in black and white. Now, once you have given them all the documents, they will then be able to give you a certificate that shows that you can legally live in that area. And this is your address with your number and um, like all your personal information and student information there um, that is necessary for the police to have. And then you will have to take that to your university um, and give it to them to show them that you have successfully registered with the police. If you are staying on campus in a dormitory, the process is going to be a little bit easier for you, but the main process is basically the same. Um, so you still have to go and register with the police, um, but the university is going to be providing the documents uh, that you need in order to go there. Um, and they already are very well versed in helping international students to do this. And they can also let you know exactly where the police station is that you need to go to. Um, and oftentimes that police station that's close to the university, the police officers can also um, speak English as well. Though um, sometimes the teachers will organize for a batch of students to all go together and one of the teachers to go with them to translate between Chinese and English. So in that sense, it is a bit easier. And it's one of the other reasons why we do recommend to be staying on campus. But I have stayed on campus and off campus. And honestly, the only big difference is that sometimes when you are renting um, from a landlord that doesn't stay very close to the university area, they might not know exactly where the police station is that you have to go to. So if that's the case, what I would do is just go to the nearest police station in the area um, and ask them where is the allocated um, police station for you to go and register with. And they will oftentimes be able to give you the correct address. 
Now, what happens if you don't get registered within the allocated time frame? So you're supposed to do this within 24 to 48 hours. Some areas it's 72 hours, but in general, I would try to make sure that you get this done as soon as possible. So um, for some places, there might be a time period, a grace time period. So I remember for one of the places that I was staying in, I was really struggling with finding the police station and I did eventually find it, but it took me two or three days more than it was supposed to. Um, and I explained the situation to them and they were very kind about it and they understood because they didn't have a lot of foreigners that lived in that area. So they understood that some foreigners got a bit lost when trying to find them. Um, but usually you need to do this within the allocated time period. And especially if you are living on campus, there really is no excuse for you to not do it within that time period. The first week of being um, a student at the university, there's going to be a lot of paperwork being done and going and registering at different stations and stuff like that. So don't really plan to do much extra in that time period. Just get all your paperwork done. And then after that, you can have all the fun you want in your free time, but just make sure to get that done. If you are over the time period, um, like for example, you didn't register for two weeks or something like that, then you will have to pay a fine. So just make sure um, that you get this done and make it a priority to get this done. I hope this was helpful for you who have all been accepted already and are looking forward to uh, going to China and starting your life there and starting your university journey over there. Um, please be sure to leave any comments down below or any questions down below. We'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. Um, and remember to like and subscribe for more videos.